Hello folks, well you might have been caught out by this little thing from the overlords at Microsoft. So um, we are Microsoft 365 here and um, now when I open up a blank document in Word I get this nonsense about Copilot and these icons up here. And uh, I don't want it, I'm not interested. I really am, I, uh, I've got more to do in my life than worry about Copilot. There are also other issues to do with what Copilot's actually doing with that data and uh, potentially how it's uh, sharing it, um, not necessarily externally, but uh, if it's uh, deciding to, to do generative AI on what you've typed in there, it's possible that you could um, cross-contaminate uh, information between uh, documents, say, if you've got multiple clients. So I'm not interested in any of that stuff. I've got a brain. I can do that for myself. So how can we uh, deal with this? Well, there's a couple of things. First of all, we want to get rid of this uh, nonsense on here. I'll show you how to do that. If you go to File and Options, you'll notice there's a new Copilot um, uh, item here. If you do Enable Copilot, OK. And it's gone. So if I now close this down and I go into Word again, and there we go, we don't get that anymore. You'll see the copilot is actually grayed out. So that's a good start. Now, the next thing is we don't, I mentioned about the sharing aspect of your data potentially. Um, so again, if we go into File Options, I would in the general um, menu item here, uh, we go into the privacy settings, which is just here. And then uh, what I recommend you do is we start t turning off a whole bunch of these things, um, such as um, these uh, connected experiences, um, which do we collaborating. Well, you don't want to be sharing data inadvertently. So let's definitely turn that one off. Um, experiences that download online content. Well, that's up to you. I'm going to turn it off until I think I might need it again, but um, I, I'm not don't usually particularly have use downloadable uh, templates or content or anything uh, that I'm aware of anyway. So we'll keep, keep that off. Um, this one's a little bit more uh, questionable. If you turn off the all connected experiences, it means that, for instance, when you have that um, list of previously used documents, you'll notice that uh, with uh, Microsoft 365, as you go between multiple computers, that list is still there. So if you turn this off, that list won't be um, uh, connected between your machines. So generally, I'd say leave this one on unless there's a particular reason for you uh, uh, not to do that. And then, of course, turn off personalized offers and discounts for Microsoft products. So the only one you should have turned on here in the privacy settings, in my opinion, is this all connected experiences one. And then we can just click OK. This is going to want a restart of Office. Uh, interesting, they call it Office still here and not Microsoft 365. You've got to love marketing, haven't you? Just nonsense, isn't it? OK, you can see it says here. So let's uh, just close it down and then we'll start it off again. Bingo. Blank document. Lovely. There we go. So that's the first piece. Now, the next piece is, is I noticed a, a bit of an uplift in my uh, office um, subscription costs. Now, uh, here we go. You'll notice that the, um, I had a debit uh, November 2024. Uh, my last um, Microsoft 365 was it's an annual subscription, uh, 79.99. Now, uh, what I noticed was that it's decided uh, that it's going to up update that to 104.99. So if we look in here and I go into my Microsoft account. You see here it's um, 104.99 uh, when it's in the next charge on the 16th of November 2025. So if I go into manage there and have a look and figure out what's what's all this about. Um, and uh, yeah, it's quite an uplift from the um, from the 17.999, I mean, no inflation or anything, but you know, what are we getting for that? Turns out what we're getting for it is the co-pilot that basically do this uplift, which I never asked for or never opted in for. And you get an AI credit so you can start using all your co-pilots on uh, 
uh, that, that I never wanted to use anyway. So um, if you try to do a switch plan, you'll notice there's not really anything there. I can switch to monthly, but um, you know, save a bit by doing current. Um, there is another way. If you select cancel subscription, I don't know if this works in other markets, by the way. This is in the UK. Um, and you'll see that we get an option to switch plan to 365 Family Classic. So if I compare this family with Family Classic, I think that's exactly what I had before. So I'm going to switch back to this 79.99 that I had before. Switch plan, and then you have to go through all of this. Now, the only thing to note on this is to make sure that you have plenty of storage um, also on your uh, OneDrive. Um, I have a terabyte on my OneDrive, which is enough. So uh, anyway, so that means that next time we uh, renew, we've got uh, 79.99 instead of the 104.99. And uh, I'm uh, assuming that when it renews, we won't get any AI credit balance as well. So anyway, that's... Uh, that's how you go back to your original price. And uh, little note for Microsoft, stop ripping us off. This is almost fraudulent.